Hello guys and welcome to this uh, quick tip tutorial. I want to mention three quick tips. The first one is using historical. Let's say we want to nudge or move the texture inside of ZBrush and we only want to move the texture or polypaint and that's it. So how we can do that? So in order to do that I got this uh, mesh right in here with texture on it which is uh, I converted that to polypaint. So I duplicate that and I rename that to something like proxy because this is something uh, temporary only to capture the texture and that's it. Uh, and I go ahead, I can uh, change this to flat so I can see what I'm doing. Let's say I want to raise this area, I just go and I just raise it up. Yeah, and as you can see we got off uh, SSS in here this reddish color needs to be in here so I just move it like so and let's say we want to expand the lips uh, color and poly paint in there I just go ahead and I do that and it is demolishing the, po the polygons as well so I just uh, raise this up as well So I just go into this box, I hold down control and I control click and you can turn this off if you don't need it and I need to grab the history recall or just simply press BH and go grab your history recall and I am making sure I have this up off so it is off so with that turned off I just go and let me show you the magic, yeah. As you can see, very, very easily you moved your poly paint, like so. So in this way, you could uh, quickly move or nudge only the texture or the poly paint. Okay, the second one is using, again, historical. So as you already know, on the skin we got small, you know, freckles, uh, which are very important to have. These little dots on your skin so gives you know a skin tones variation, and it is essential to have them to have natural looking skin. So there is a lot going on. You know the little freckles all around some of them are darker some of them are brighter so how can we do that inside of ZBrush naturally of course so again I got this I go to my proxy again and all I need to do is I adjust the color so I go to my adjusting colors I grab the RGB contrast and I grab I put something very low like 0.1 or even less to have something you know contrasty. You can make it brighter or you can make it you know darker depending on the freckles that you're looking for. And by the way, the adjustment is located in here. Adjusting colors, right? So if we got this again. So all I need to do is I just click on this box right in here. I hold down control and I just click. It becomes white, uh, which is ready to go. I go back to my main sub tool. And again, I go grab the spray. I make sure I got no color variation. The rest is just fine. I want to use this alpha 08. I want to go to my stroke, I want to increase the brush imperfections to something high and maybe a little jitter to make it, you know, jittery. So right after that, let me show you that in rough way with 100% you know, RGB intensity. Yeah, it does the job very well as you can see and naturally. But it is too much. It needs to be really subtle. Just decrease this. I just drop it down. Yeah. So I'm doing it. Uh, it's a little unclear because it is so bright. If I increase that again, you can see that better. Right? Like so. 
but it needs to be really settled. You can go around and around the lips. I can uh, come in here. I can uh, just decrease this something really low, and I just give it you know more color uh, variation, like so. Yeah, you need to do that in very subtle way. I'm just demonstra demonstrating for the purpose of the tutorial. So you need to decrease your intensity too much and do that in very subtle way. Okay. Okay, and the third tip is using the extractor. So in the extractor, I want to make sure I got decent resolution. So I go to from brush. And in the front brush, I want to type 512. And this is you now decent resolution for using this brush. So it becomes, it changes the color. And whenever you want to use it, let's say we want to use uh, this region texture. All you need to do is just press G. And once you tap on it, it changes the color. And depending on your stroke, it grabs it for you. And I usually use this drag rig. I kind of like it. So just drag it like so. And once it is on, it uh, becomes you know, located in here. So I again say that. Press G once. It changes the color. And sometimes it takes a little time. I don't know why. Just drag it. It grabs it for you. So now it is located in here. But I tend to use that with you know, a paintbrush from ZBrush. Paintbrush is default ZBrush brush. You need to find it in BP. Just you know, right in here, BP. Yeah. So I want to use it with drag or maybe spray. I usually use to. I usually use the alphas with that as well. So I grab something, you know, something like 08 or 23. I grab 08, grab this texture right in here. And I want to make sure I mix it with some brush imperfections and maybe a little jitter. So I just text, uh, test it in here. And as you can see, it works very well. And I want to decrease the RGB intensity, like so. So you grab the texture, G, take this region, like so. Just do that again. But you need to play around with the color, you know, it depends on where uh, or what region you grab. It needs to be a little accurate. Uh, for, exa for example, let's say we grab this area, we need to copy that, you know, next to that. Like so. And it matches uh, very well. Like so. Alright, just come in here, press G, it uh, changes the color. So grab it. like that and again you can mix it with uh, the other alphas and if you want to blur it you could do that just go to your alpha and to modify and there is blur and change it to something like 14 do not use uh, 15 it tends to become you know a, a little laggy i use 10 yeah. makes it more blurry like so. I grab this dot, press G, grab it. And Put it in there like so. Okay. And the reason I'm using a plain 3D in here is because 
whenever you're using 3d mesh it grabs it a little slow so i loaded the emily project that i use for texturing this guy in here i loaded on a plane i turned on the dynamics so it gives it thickness and if you're wondering where it is located just go ahead to your dynamic and there is thickness as well in here so in that case you don't need to use double so just go on your plane 3d it grabs it very very fast for example i come in here press g grab this region and i come back to my mesh and by the way you could store you know the views for yourself I just come back in here and i do that like so you need to decrease this as well to mix it better okay guys and that's it and thanks a lot for watching see ya